Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're creating a pinwheel in Cinema 4D. Okay, we've got a nice, quick, easy tutorial today. Let's get straight into it. To kick things off, we'll come up here and grab a star. That's got a few too many points. So let's come down here and bring that down to three. So we've got a nice triangle. Then we'll go back up to our star and right click and we'll click on make editable. Then we'll scooch over here and put it into point mode. We wanna get rid of these extra points here. So we'll grab them and just hit delete. Now we've got a nice clean triangle. If we middle mouse click, we can see all of our views. We'll go into the front view. So again, middle mouse click that. We wanna grab this point and bring it in a bit. If you have a look down here, it's at uh, 200 centimeters in the x-axis. Let's set it to 100. Now we actually want the tip of this triangle to be in the center of the world, which is this part right here. So let's switch over to object mode. And if you hold shift while you drag this along, it should snap. And we want it to snap to that center point. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to our perspective view. We wanna round the edges of this triangle out a little bit. So let's go back to point mode. And if we right click, and come down to chamfer, then hit Control A to select all the points. And if we just click and drag, we can round those edges nicely. Something like that. And you can get a bit more control if you come over here and type in the exact number you want. Let's just round that to 0.7. Okay, let's go back to object mode. We wanna give our triangle some thickness now. So with it selected, we'll come up here and grab an extrude. Let's hold Alt while we click that so it becomes a parent and instantly applies itself, which it has done. We want it to look like paper or cardboard, so it's probably a bit too thick. Let's come over here under Object and bring that Z axis down to one centimeter for now. That's looking good. Let's zoom in a bit. We don't want those edges to be too sharp, so let's go over to Caps and we'll give both sides some fillet caps and we'll bring the radiuses down to one centimeter. We're gonna be deforming this, so we'll need a bit more geometry. So we'll come down to type and change this to quadrangles. And we'll chuck on that regular grid. And actually, if we come up to display and turn on the lines so you can see what's happening here. If we come down here and run through some of these. So triangles looks like that. Engon's very little geometry, which is not good for us right now, as you can see. And there's quadrangles, which is nice and even. And if we bring this down, we're gonna get even more geometry to play with. The next step is to bend this, so this is gonna make life a lot easier. But before we do that, let's come up here and grab a null, and we'll grab all this stuff and plonk it in there. When the null comes in, it should be at the center of our world, and to check that, we'll go to move mode, and you can see there he is, and that's right in line with that point, which is exactly what we want. So now we can bend this. Let's come up to the deformers here, and we'll click on bend, and over here, we wanna position him right under here in the hierarchy, so it affects our extruded shape. And to test that, we'll come down and play with the strength, and you can see that's bending nicely, although it's bending in the wrong direction, as usual when you bring in a bend deformer. So all we have to do is spin that around, like so. And if we come back to our bend deformer, we can just resize some of these, something like this. Give that another try, and that's bending the way we want it to bend. Although we've got another issue. If you have a look over here, it's going a bit crazy. But we can fix that easy. We'll come up to extrude and we'll find our original star shape. And you can see here the intermediate points of our spline are set to adaptive. We just wanna change that to subdivided. And that's looking a bit better. All we need to do now is tweak this bend deformer to get something that's gonna work for us. I've got a few settings that I'll put in now that I know are gonna work for this example. But feel free to have a play and see what you can come up with. Okay, that's basically the shape that we're after. Now we just need to repeat this piece and make it look a bit more like a pinwheel. So let's collapse all this stuff up. And with our null selected, we'll come up to MoGraph and grab a cloner. Don't forget to hold Alt when you bring that in so it's automatically applied. It's not quite cloning them the way we want yet. So we'll grab that cloner and under the object tab, we wanna change the mode from linear to radial. And now it's starting to look a bit more like a wheel. Let's bring that radius in so they're sort of touching. And we'll bring the count up to eight. And we can turn those lines off to get a better look at this. And that's basically the overall shape that we're after. If we come down to the offset here, we can animate that to make it spin easy enough. 
So now we just need to add a handle for it. So let's zoom out a bit. And up here we can bring in a cylinder. And it's just a matter of scaling this down and stretching it out until we get the shape that we're after. Something like that should do us. Then these pinwheels usually have a bit of a cap on the front. So we'll come up and bring in another cylinder. And move that around, drag that out a bit. It's the wrong orientation here, so we can just go and change that to plus Z. And again, we'll just scale that down until we get something like that. Now we'll get rid of those sharp edges. We'll come to caps and turn fillet on and we'll set the segments and radius to one and drag that into place somewhere about there. Let's grab the scale tool and just bring that up a little bit. That's looking pretty good to me. Let's grab our cloner again. And if we play with that offset, looking good. Although there's a bit of an issue at the bottom there. Our handle is going through our wheel here. So let's just move that back a bit. Something like that. Let's pop this open and start texturing this. If we double click here, we'll make a new material. If we go in there, let's just set the color to red and close that. And we'll drag that onto our extrude, which makes everything red. If you want to be a bit fancy, you can come down here and just type in C1. And that way the red will only be applied to that front cap, which is kind of cool. Another trick you can do is have alternating colors. If we come back up to our null here and hold control and drag that up here to duplicate it, we'll come back down here and double click and make another material. This time we'll set the color to a yellow and drag that on our new duplicate. And there you go, looking good. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Just a quick easy one today. As usual, if you wanna save a bit of time, you can download the project file below and you can get a whole bunch of extra stuff on our Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you wanna see in the comment section below or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.